Hi everybody, this is Amelia Biderwell from So Steady, and today we're going to look at Wesley Designs New Circles on Quilts Wreath Number 41 template. Here's Leonie West's instructions that will come with the set. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start by marking out the fabric with a six point crosshair square and do 12 reference lines. So what we'll do is we'll start with our rotating pin in the center point and the template over the pin here. And we'll start with our foot at A. We'll go all the way around, down to D, and backtrack up to B and stop. And then we'll rotate our template so our foot is back at A and repeat the process all the way around the design. So we'll start with the center point etched reference line in line with the marks that we made on the fabric using the crosshair ruler. And I'm gonna start by putting my foot down at A, drop my needle, raise my needle, raise my foot, pick up my bobbin thread. We always wanna start with our thread tails on the top of our fabric sandwich so that we can keep track of them and not allow them to snarl on the bottom of your quilt. Start guiding from A. Pass B. Down to C. You do want to go up to D so that you get that interior circle on the wreath. And then backtrack back up to the letter B. And stop. And then you're going to rotate the template. And you'll notice that your foot is back at A. And the etched reference line um, lines right up with what you just stitched. So lots of ways to make sure that you're on track with the design. So here we stopped at B and we're rotating our template back to A. And when we're back at A, the etched line on the template itself falls right onto what you just stitched. So everything lines up really nicely and you know that you have perfect placement. And then we just continue to keep stowing. 